Affinity Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take an image such as this, turn it into a pattern, and from that pattern, bring it back into Affinity Photo, and then maybe apply effects, etc., to it. Right, I've got this design here, so I can just quickly go to Filters and Distort and Mirror, and drag that over there. And what you can do then, just set it, say, to like four. And straight away you can see you've got a pattern there, a tile. So you've got that equal over there, that equal over there, there. So, but I'm going to go for the same value, slightly more interesting, say 12. So once you've actually got 12, click apply. Now, what I need to do is quickly export it. Don't have to use the save. Unfortunately, save saves it to obviously the format for Affinity Photo. And then when you try and bring it in, it doesn't allow it. So you actually have to save it to by export, so just go to export, go for JPEG, and I'm just going to say 100% quality, export, and mirror three. Right, save. Now, you could, of course, create a new document, and I'm going to do that, but you could use, of course, current document, so new. Now, what you can do, just quit. Now, don't use the over here, if you just go over here, gradient, doesn't particularly work as well. I personally prefer go for layer and new fill layer. Once you've actually got that, then you've got an option here for bitmap. Right, select bitmap, obviously the one that I've just created, mirror three, click open, and now you can see it's very, very small. It just brings it in as that. Now you've got a few options here. You've got wrap, mirror, etc. I'm just going to go for wrap. But you can then just drag that out. You can see you can drag that out. Um, rotate it around. Do all that. You can of course move it, just move that around, and you can move that, stretch it out, stretch, make it very thin, and so on and so on. Right, once you've actually got that, you think, right, well, that's perfectly reasonable. You can actually go over here to the layers and just deselect that point. It's still obviously there, so I haven't disabled, I'm still available. Now, what you can then do, go to a layer and a new layer filter layer, and I'm just going to go for say 12. So 12 filter, and you see it's just above now. You're not selected, it's not with that. And you can actually then apply the effects just like that. And of course, you can apply the other ones as well. You've got layer, whole range of different layer options there. But you can just use that one and change the radius like that. Hope you find this of interest. Thank you very much.